just want to offload this. It started with then um, interacting with Miles H Hingston, Hollow Produ <coughs> Plex Productions. I cannot remember what comment I made, his response was, and this is an actual quote, it's what I thought I read, but when I checked it last time it wasn't actually this, though I have to go to my other channel to get the actual details, and uh, I've already got configuration issues with this uploader, and I don't want to affect these settings, I didn't need to say all that, did I? So his, resp his response was, or wasn't, or I believed it said was there is no self to save there is only the experience of experiencing the experience consider it and I thought you know what there is only the experience of experiencing the experience sort of removes ego, I didn't fully uh, agree necessarily with the statement though it did it illustrate a removal of ego, there is only the experience or experiencing the experience did it remove ego, I don't know anyway I thought it's useful regardless of whether I agree with it or not so one night as I sat on my bed perfectly still eyes wide open I thought what is this experience then the experience of experiences and I sat there to experience the experience the experience of experiences and there was nothing I experienced nothing and then the question was can one experience nothing actually Where did it go from there? I then started to realise that experience actually was if anything merely observation one could experience uh, any f bodily effects perhaps but even that is actually an observation of the effect the body is experiencing or what one believes it to be experiencing so I said in fact I made some vlogs here or maybe they have a channel about it can one experience nothing and so I said to Miles is a observation an experience specifically and his response was that I would say so, yes, I, I contended with it for a while. Though I did remember ultimately agreeing that observation could be considered an experience. I really should have done some homework, shouldn't I, and gone to the other channel and got the details about this, the correspondence, the communications. <coughs> no less. One day, shortly afterwards I'm walking down the street I sit down to uh, relieve the experience that I was experiencing consequential to my enduring that which I experience as a consequence of consequence and for a brief moment I experienced being very brief moment I was just being it was an experience I thought it was at the time and to use illustration it's the light bulb in the cartoon moment right that's what the experience is the experience experiences as well as the observation that the experiencer believes are experiences though are merely observations regardless of whether observation itself is an experience right so beyond that I came up with the slogan the rhyme the stanza I am life 
experiencing life as life and as life continue as it does I will continue to experience life as life sort of illustrated the existential reality that life is from the perspective that I was trying to expound to share to allow people to realize there is no escaping life there is no escaping the consequences of that which we do as life itself will experience the consequences of life continually though that, that sort of suggests a stop doesn't it that life experiences the consequences continually though the consequences they are rolling along all the time it's sort of a it's consequence upon consequence that uh, is experienced anyway that's sort of a pause for a moment there though I've moved on already and hesitated and looked back and realised I've moved on so I am life experiencing life as life and as life continues as it does I will continue to experience life as life removal of ego and understanding that no matter what you do you cannot avoid the responsibilities to yourself as life in that I took it to Matty this morning just because I was looking at his work and admiring it so much that I took it away to well I could have used it actually recently I, I took it away to use it if necessary in the future or whether I will need to or not it's another matter in fact I realised when I went taking it that all I need to do is do some work on myself as I should do and I would be able to expound it as well anyway though no less I took his work and left that rhyme, that stanza, that slogan I am life experiencing life as life and as life continues I will continue to experience life as life and asked if you have any perspective on it and how did that sit with him well later on the same day which was today, which was yesterday perhaps from a Gregorian calendar linear calibratory perspective I interacted with the philosophy students at the school of Professor Anton Corey and within that interaction one person I was interacting with explained that being is not actually an experience it is a state <coughs> no, I agreed and said thank you and so therefore experience itself is merely an observation being that being is a state um, you can observe the state of being though that's still an experience or still an observation you see being being is a state apparently though at the time I first realized the being ness of the experience that I was calling life was that it had no words in fact the moment you try to utilize words to expound the experience of being it became an observation and was no longer being and so there are no words for the experience that it's being or the state of being there are no words for it I need to look into the word state that's connotations doesn't it anyway this is just to offload to share with Miles and anyone else watching and uh, I'm going to call it a note to Matty whether you'll bother watching or not it's up to him so then if all experience is merely observation being that being itself is a state rather than an experience then 
I am life, observing life as life, and as life continues, I will continue to observe life as life. I'm not too sure that sits as well as I am life experiencing life as life, and as life continues, I will continue to experience life as life. Someone once asked me, another person I interact with, what was the purpose of this? As I was sharing these words with them, I said there is none, really. I suppose the intention is to assist people to understand that they are responsible for every thought, word and deed. Though, I suppose it could be said to be purpose as well. I can't remember the question actually. The answer to the question there is, was there is none, actually. There is no purpose in my sharing of the words I was sharing with them other than I was interacting with them and getting to know them. We were working on understanding the existential reality that we experienced as a consequence of creating it for ourselves together. So, being is a state and the experience, the experience of experiences is merely an observation. Now, it's not a conclusion, understand that. It's in fact, this is nothing other than an offload, uploaded onto my YouTube channel to enable me to refer to it after I've forgotten it because the relevance of it to the task at hand, dealing with the application of responsibility by those who wish to avoid understanding the consequences of the experience that we create for ourselves dot dot dot